Hi, astronaut.com, and we are here with Flying Baboon, Wicked Witch, Bellatrix the Strange, Doctor Strange. And can you tell us why you dressed as these characters? Because no one has done this version before, and I must do it. I'm a witch in real life, so this is the natural extension. That's not really dressing up if you're a witch in real life. <laughs> you just pull this out, you always wear it on his Oh, yeah. Because Bellatrix is wicked and beautiful and unrepentant badness. She seems a little too happy about that. If I didn't dress like this, I'd commit horrible crimes. Oh, my. We gotta keep our eye on them. And I'm keeping my eye on him because he has scared me twice so far. Yeah. Gotta keep him down. So have you guys been to Comic-Con before? Yes. Yes. Not New York, no. I live here. So it's Comic-Con every day for you. <laughs> and have you dressed before? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's hard to get me into regular clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have any advice you would give to people coming to Comic-Con? Have fun. That's the most important key of all. I, I would agree, but I want them shoes. <laughs> Have fun, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about your costumes, how you made it, and how long it took you? Well, I've been known for being a costume maker for a good number of years, so I just kind of decided to do this version, and um, this is kind of like a fur coat. Uh, this is uh, like a vel velvet kind of like spandex of a silver gray color, and just kind of went creative, especially about the monkey's feet. I, a lot of people got impressed with that, so. Oh, so you made your feet? Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I made the claws, and I made the wrists. I made, basically, I made everything except for the mask. Uh, I actually had, to skin, I had to skin the monkey for the, the baboon for that. Oh, lovely. And I noticed on your feet you have non-skid things. That's really smart. Yeah, for the just for Good the, detail. For the floors or the and, concrete outside. And how did you make your wings? Oh, this was a particular frame that I found online. Actually, they actually open up if you want to see how they do. Yeah, can you do that? But don't hit any of the witches. That's cool. And <laughs> <laughs> scary. And how about you? How did you create your costume? Some of it is out of my closet, some of it I especially made for this costume, and some of it I happened to find in stores and was perfect for it. And how long did it take you? Um, this one about a month. I'm glad I did not wear good shoes, I wore comfortable boring shoes, so my shoes are safe from you. And how about you? How long did it take you to make your costume? Uh, it's about, about a week. It's all repurposed from various things in my wardrobe. These are all uh, hand-painted swirls. This is all handmade leather and leather stitched on. And yes, wearing comfortable shoes today, definitely. Very smart. And you, sir? Well, this is a few months made by the Wicked Witch. She actually um, sent to Turkey for the uh, golden trim. And uh, she actually drew the ghost on for me. And... Uh, Can we see this? Sure, go ahead. Always ask consent first. That's cool. I can see his eyes and the arms. That's great. And who did your medallion? She drew it, and uh, we just took half uh, pieces of uh, domes just to make the eye bigger. You can see. That's great. So you guys look fantastic. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. We hope you have a great time. Bye.